Well, hello again. So this one is inspired by my friend Tiz, 2AHD Cat. So, uh, you know, there are several of us that are obsessed, probably a lot of us that are obsessed with Australian Ford Falcons. Um, and a lot of people love the movie Mad Max. And <clears throat> this is one I can't believe it's taken me so long to actually pick up a version of. Um, so, and, and I'll be specific, the version I mean, like the last of the V8 Interceptors by Greenlight Hollywood. This is a hobby exclusive uh, because this is the car and truck set. So it's got the 72 Ford F-350 ramp truck with the 1973 Ford Falcon XB, uh, which is the last of the V8 inter interceptors. And I'm 95% correct, sure that I'm correct on this. So you'll notice it doesn't say Mad Max or George Miller on this at any point. It just says the last of the V8 interceptors. That photo there is an approximation of the public, the publicity photos from the original movie, uh, that whole wastelands idea, but uh, you'll notice the licensing on the back is from Ford, not from the movie theater. So even though this is a quote unquote Hollywood, um, I don't think it's licensed by the um, Mad Max producers franchise. Uh, anything, um, not that. Not that it's that important, but, um, I, I, you know, I, if anybody knows for sure that I'm wrong, let me know. But I don't think I'm wrong. I don't, I don't, you know, and there are other things um, with the actual car. Now, Tiz has this 164th, but he also just got the green light 118th version. It's beautiful and it's awesome. Uh, and no, I won't be adding that to my collection. Uh, I'm not adding any new 118 scale. Um, the ones I have are enough. Space is a is a premium here in this little room. So let's get this out of the package. All right, let's get the. Falcon XB out first. We'll put it off to the side. Let's pray for no green light quality issues. Nothing popping off. A misaligned tire is one thing, but let's hope nothing. Oh, they barely got this in there. There we go. Check that in a second. Now, with these sets here, probably best just to break this sticker off because these stickers can actually mess with the trucks when they're coming out. There we go. And the silly ramps that I'm sure I will lose. Well, I'll just leave them in there because I know I will lose the ramps five minutes after I do the video. So let's get the truck out of the way. Uh, I love Ford trucks. Uh, but let's so nice tampa work for there. The grill and headlights look perfect. The uh, headlights are only painted. It's got MFP for Main Force Patrol on the license plate. It's got the like towing mirrors, the commercial mirrors. Uh, it's got a nice uh, backer bar here. Uh, the everything's black. So hold on. So there we go, the combination of uh, reflectors and, does it say F F-350 there? Um, let's zoom in on this. No, that doesn't really help. But we should be able to see the MFP main force patrol shield. And again, it's just a gold shield, so I, it's not exactly as in the movie. Uh, Looks like the hood might open on this. Are we that fortunate? Yes. Thank you, green light. And it's just a big old blue V8 there. 
but the hood opens well. Uh, the interior looks okay, everything black. So, you know, it's funny, this is a left-hand drive F-350 um, for a right-hand drive Falcon. But I'm not going to fault them too much. There's a winch, the side rails, the diamond plate ramps. There's where the little ramps would connect. Reflectors there, but no taillights. The different fasteners, toolbox, chrome around the windows and door handles. It says Ford there, so that's pretty cool. So let's pop that back there. And now let's take a look at the star of the show here. So this is this 1973 Ford Falcon XB. Um, this is heavily modified for the movie. So again, that, and again, I'm going to have to zoom in, but it looks like that gold main force patrol is just gold. There's... There's no MFP on that. This has this, um, as Mad Max's Falcon did in the movie, the aftermarket Monza front clip um, with the yellow headlight covers, the fog lights painted. You can see that beautiful blower there with the injector scoop. Um, the zoomy pipes here. Everything's black, including the fuel filler cap, but it's got side marker light there. The zoomy pipes are painted silver. So the 73 Ford Falcon XB used under license, 2017, made in China. Um, so I wonder, so here, the base, they've got this jacked up rear end with the plastic like they do on the trucks. Um, which is cool, that's fine, because this is a, you know, a modified vehicle. Uh, it's got the black wagon wheels, rubber tires. Um, so on the back, it's got the taillights done well enough, and it's got MFP on the plate. So for 164th, for, you know, for the price, this is a great reproduction of the model car, of the movie car, excuse me. Um, and, you know, all of these companies, Greenlight, Mattel, everybody want to get as many versions of these out as possible. But um, I think Greenlight... So I, we all know, I, I know, I know Tiz and I both have other versions of this casting. So I actually have this uh, hobby exclusive version. 73 Ford Falcon XB. And this has no mention of last of the V8 interceptors. It just has the kangaroo sign. And again, this red dusty um, Outback Road version there. 2019. But so here it is in black and white. And it's funny because on this one, you get a little bit more detail. So there it says GT351. The wagon wheels are silver. Because it's black and white, you have the grill detail, the gas cap is painted. Um, looks like a little trim around the windows. Um, but the big difference is the clear headlight covers as opposed to the yellow. But those are the same car, but actually the other, the other versions, have, the details are just a little better because it's easier to contrast against uh, multiple colors against white rather than black. So let's see what the license plate says. Hold on. Does it say GT351? Both on the license plate and on, under the trunk key there. Taillight tampos. Um, can't tell if that's a chip in the paint or I think that is actually a chip in the paint um, and so these are fine these are great but they're not actually a 1973 Ford Falcon XB they're a modified 73 Falcon XB so to the best of my knowledge the only one that does a factory 
or close to factory 73 Ford Falcon XB is Hot Wheels, um, which of course they do in the main line, but I always love pulling out this Forza, you know, uh, real rider version. So this is some place that Hot Wheels actually did better than Greenlight. Uh, so they painted taillights. That looks like a Forza there in the middle. Um, metal body, metal base. Let's take a look. I'm pretty sure they've been doing this longer. So 73 Ford Falcon XB. Actually, it's funny. There's no copyright year on this one. Hmm. I'll have to look on the back of the package. But, so, one big, a lot of big differences. No spoiler above the back window. The spoiler on this one is different from this, but that that's minor. Um, quite frankly, Hot Wheels does a nice job with this vent here. And then, for the real important part, there you go. This is what a Ford Falcon XB looks like uh, with the dual round headlights and, uh, you know, the traditional grill. Um, this hood should look familiar to any Mustang fan uh, because 1973 Ford Mustang used as actually from 1971 to 1973, they used a similar hood for Boss 351s, for Boss 429s, for Mach 1s. Uh, the hood pins. So this is very nice detail. Let's see if we can get a copyright year off the back of this. So 2016 for the Forza set. So green light, last of the V8 interceptors, uh, inspired by his 2A HD cat. Um, you know me, I love Australian Fords, uh, so this is just, you know, this is fantastic. All right, uh, like, share, subscribe, comment down below, let me know what you think. Uh, I'm just curious, I'm sure quite a few people have the green light version and maybe the mainline version, which I should have pulled out. Um, but how many people realized that, you know, that this front end is not what the Falcon would look like. Say if you if you bought one and had it shipped over from Australia, that's not what you would get. No. Um, so, uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you later.